Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a New York Rangers season preview. If you enjoy the content, subscribe down below or at the easy widget up above at the end of the video. Of course, the Rangers unfortunately have an issue with their dynamic offensive forward, Vitaly Krosov, who doesn't want to be demoted to the AHL. Now they're letting him talk to other teams, apparently, to potentially be traded, as he's not set to make the team originally and just doesn't want to be demoted for whatever reason. This team, though, did smartly bring in some nice guys that I have to highlight as veteran players in the office. And they brought in Ryan Reeves, who's obviously a great guy to have as you get into the postseason. They brought in Barkley Goodrow, who obviously has had great success in the postseason and is one of the best defensive forwards. And then you also think that still only 20 years old is hard to imagine for Capo Caco and Lafreniere for some because people have been getting on them as bus already. They ain't even damn near close to that. They're only still 20. You're still looking for those guys to break out any of those years, and that could be this year. That could be next year, but you're definitely going to see them improve. You're definitely going to see more than 17 points from Kako and 21 from Lafreniere. So you're just waiting for that breakout year, but you're still going to see a steady improvement. You got the Harden Sawyer team, Mika Zibanejad locked up. You Then the other um, guy that is obviously a core member and the biggest core member of the team, Artemi Panarin, is obviously there for a while as well and is going to have another all-star season. Ryan Strom, they made into one of the better second-line centers in the league now. They made him into the best he's been defensively in his career, and obviously he's been getting better each year offensively in New York. And then Philippe Heidel is a very good developing center, still only at 22, not in his prime years at all yet either. And then Lindgren, of course, plays a great defensive game. Adam Fox is one of the best defensemen in the NHL. Keandre Miller is going to be a very good defenseman. Already was good last year. 12 points, 5 goals, 7 assists in 53 games with a plus 9 rating. Jacob Truba is a nice guy from the right side. Maybe overpaid, obviously, but still a nice guy from the right side. Jared Tenorti really got going in Nashville. Now he's in New York. We'll see what he's able to do. I think he's still going to be able to be one of those late-blooming guys at 29. He's on a line that looks like with Nemeth. And then you got Shesterkin and Gorgiev. you got two good young goalies. This thing has them projected on hockey news at six in the Metro. The Metropolitan Division is really like they talked about in the ESPN pregame show, that it's kind of after you have the Lightning, obviously, that they're going to be the favorites to come in first place. It's kind of a crapshoot. Then you have the Panthers. Some people have the Missouri Surprise projections, of course, for the Stanley Cup. After them, it's kind of like, okay, who's going to fall into place between the Leafs, the, the, um, the, um, or excuse me, not not those teams. That's the um, that's the Atlantic Division. Uh, da, 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 da. I apologize. I misspoke there. Obviously, uh, that was the Atlantic Division. But when you have the teams line up with the Metropolitan Division, you really have it's probably the Islanders, and then you have teams like the Hurricanes, that could still be at the top of that division. But beyond when you have the top of that division in the Metropolitan Division, you have teams like the Rangers, the Flyers, the Penguins, who you're never going to count out because the only year they didn't make it was in Crosby's inaugural season they didn't make it, and then they've made it every year since. So you're going to have teams other than the Hurricanes and Islanders. There's no team, obviously. The Devils and Blue Jackets are still, obviously, they're probably going to be teams you're not going to predict to make it coming in. Every other team is kind of in that crapshoot. The Rangers are right there with it, especially if you have guys. You got good guys in mind. You have Braden Schneider as a very good defensive developing defenseman. Same with Matthew Robertson, who can both play the defensive game. Well, Niels Lundqvist likes to push the play. So even with Kratzow being a bummer for you, you got Morgan Barron, who looks like he's going to be a good bottom six player coming out of Cornell. You got Will Coley, who did not look like he was overexposed or overmatched at all in the AHL at a young age. So you got good guys. You got Zach Jones, who's, of course, already played a little bit in the NHL already and has already looked good in the NHL already. So you got some good guys there. You got a good defense developing. You already have a good defense. That's what you got to build off of goaltending and defense, and you definitely have that there in New York. The offense is still building up as you got Kako and Lafayette still developing as well as Heidel. You brought in Sammy Blyze. That's also a good pickup from the Blues organization, excuse me. And I think this team is poised to be right there in this mix because the Metropolitan Division, like I said, after the top two team, apologize again for misspeaking at the beginning, is the Hurricanes and probably Islanders. You kind of have a crapshoot of the Flyers, Penguins, Capitals, um, Islanders, and then, of course, your New York Rangers. So I think this is going to be one of those just who shows up the best throughout the season, who stays consistent, and also maybe who turns into, for my baseball fan, in this division with how it might be close to the end other than the top two teams, 
who's going to turn into that Cardinals as team that can kind of make that late run to get into the playoffs. This is also what the Metro could come down to. So again, I hope you all have a great and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Rangers season. Enjoy the season, Rangers fans. Good luck this season. The hockey season is on us right now, not even upon us anymore. It's just going on right now. The Pittsburgh Penguins and Tampa Bay Lightning game is ongoing. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the season.